This is a group of Altham Angels that I just picked up yesterday, and you can see they're not shy. Um, I'm going to feed them some mices for you. And you can see they're all eating nicely, eating really well. It's a really nice batch of Altums. I'm super stoked about these guys. And especially since um, in the past, I don't know, 10 or so years, we've had several shipments of Altums that have made it to Canada, but they've been really bad, constantly breaking down. I don't know whether it was had something to do with shipping methods or packing or maybe even collecting methods but something was wrong and they were constantly breaking down but these guys seem solid knock on wood and uh, so we'll see how they do over the next few days but they seem pretty good right now and uh, there's one there that I picked up out of the group um, he has really short fins you see this guy sorry about there's a bit of algae on the glass you see uh, this guy right here really short fins so those fins probably were ammonia burns during shipping and uh, so we've seen that before um, with a lot of fish and it happens a lot with altums but you can see a lot of them came in super nice with uh, super nice long fins this guy super nice um, but anyway so that short fin guy he's right here I just took him because I wanted to see whether um, the fins would grow back over time so I guess time will tell but I am super stoked about this group it's a super nice group so I they're eating so well these Altums I thought I'd try and um, see if they would take pellets they just ate uh, quite a lot of mysis shrimp and um, but as you can see they take it and they spit it out and then they take it but nothing makes it down to the ground oh maybe mm, 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 no yeah so these guys are solid they're taking pellets on the second day here and that's right after a heavy feeding of mysis and normally you feed fish really good food it's like us eating prime rib and then the and then right after feasting on prime rib trying to feed us a, a cheap cheeseburger and it's kind of the same thing usually fish won't take uh, pellets after being fed uh, a nice food like uh, frozen mysis that's a hickory brand mysis too but um, so these guys are eating anything and everything in sight which is amazing um, one of the one of the ways to I mean, get fish to eat food that uh, they might not normally eat is um, keep them in a group and uh, I mean you got to be fortunate enough to, to have a solid group like these guys um, but the other thing is to you know it's supply and demand so you see I only threw in like three or four pellets there so there's not much food and there's more demand for the food and uh, so they're more likely to keep it down and then eventually they're going to get used to it and eventually you can be feeding them more and more of these commercially prepared um, foods pellets or I'm pretty sure they'll eat flakes too